Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. This one, I am gonna show you how to create mind-blowing AI videos. Guys, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a video just like the one I'm about to show you. But here's the thing, I am gonna show you how to do this using one AI tool. I'm gonna show you every single step of the way. Check out the video and then let me walk you through how to do it. Let's go. It is a period of civil wars in the galaxy. A brave alliance of underground freedom fighters has challenged the tyranny and oppression of the awesome galactic empire. Striking from a hidden fortress among the billion stars of the galaxy, rebel spaceships have won their first victory against the powerful Imperial Starfleet. All right, to get started creating AI videos like that, bringing Hollywood to your laptop. <laughs> it's easy, guys. Just head over to the chat LLM team's website. I put a link in the description below. Click on Get Started. If it's your first time here, click the button. Do note it's only 10 bucks a month. Yes, you can literally create videos like I showed you, Hollywood-style videos, for $10 a month. This is nuts. Click the button. Let's go. Let me show you how to do it. All right, once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks just like this. The first thing I like to do, I'm going to click on the down arrow up here at the top and just quickly show you that you can access all of these large language models. And then if you look down here, you'll see we've got access to imaging, coding, we've got PowerPoint generations, video generation, I mean video analysis, everything you can imagine is pretty much in here. We're going to stick to video generation and what that entails, but I want you to know that a lot of things are available. Now, to do an AI video, there are generally four steps. It's going to break down into scripting, then we're going to do AI images, we're going to create some images, then we're going to create the AI video, and then finally I'm going to show you how to do an AI voiceover. All of that in this tool by itself. Here we go. All right, so here we go. The first step is scripting. Now, of course, you can just make visuals if you want, but I'm going to assume you want to do this Hollywood style. and We want to have a nice script to go with it. So it's very easy to do here. In fact, you'll already see here that I've got a script. How did I do it? Well, let's go step by step. Here we go. First thing, I'm going to click on new chat up here at the top left. And then I'm going to close those tabs on the left side. Do note here that you can always go through them and open them up if you've got saved conversations and things like that you want to go through. So here we go. We've got a fresh slate here. I'm going to go ahead and just copy in a prompt. My prompt is write a short script for a YouTube video that tells the story of a lone X-Wing pilot taking on the Death Star. Yeah, that's right. Hollywood's in trouble, guys. AI's coming for him. So here we go. There's my script. Now, before I hit this go button here or before I hit the play button, Watch this, up at the top here, you'll see here that when I click that little arrow like I did there, we can go ahead and select whatever large language model we want. This is one of the amazing things that Chat LLM Teams has built into it. It has all the best large language models. Now, I am kind of, you know, I really like O3 Mini High. This is the brand new one from OpenAI. It just popped a few days ago, but some people like Claude Sonnet 3.5. And a lot of people really like the new DeepSeek R1 that was lighting up Twitter there a few days ago. So pick your large language model. I'm going to go with O3 Mini High and then watch that. There we go. I've just typed in my prompt. I'm going to hit the little purple button there, the enter button, and watch this. Now, O3 Mini High is a very fast, a very, very good large language model, but it thinks quickly. And here we go. It's giving me the script. Now watch this, the Lone Rebellion. Okay, I like it already. And you'll see here, it gives you even more. It gives you the opening shot. And in the opening shot, it's a view of a vast galaxy slowly panning across the screen as epic. Now you're probably thinking, well, hey, what does that have to do with a script? That's more like visual cue, but keep in mind that we're going to be creating AI images and AI video. So these types of ideas, these types of suggestions are actually pretty useful. So there we go. And then here we go. The narrator in a galaxy held in the grip of darkness. Cool. We've got a script, guys. We're going to work with this. We're going to, we're going to, you know, fine tune it at the end here, but we've got a script. Now let's create some still images that we can use to sort of drive the bus for our video. Let's get into that next. All right, welcome back. So let's create some images. Now, again, this is optional as well, but this really allows you to get the look and the aesthetic right out of the box. Your first scene, your first shot, you get it the way you want it. Now, you'll see here, I've been creating some images. I was having some fun earlier here. I've got some Boba Fett Lego going on here. Good times here, but let me show you how to create these images from scratch. Easy to do. Let's start again with a new chat. We'll close everything up here. You'll see here it says image. It's literally that easy. Chat LLM Teams makes it pretty simple. 
click on image when you do that check this out here under image generation you'll see here when i drop down this model you don't get one model you don't get flux or imaging you get eight different models that you can work with and these are premium models like we're talking best of the best stuff here flux one pro ultra that's top shelf we've got imaging three by google it just came out a few days ago top shelf dolly three from open ai recraft version three ideogram you're gonna find something you like here so i'm gonna stick with flux one pro ultra and now watch this i'm gonna switch this from one image to four because i find that you know what hey you might as well get four kicks at the can instead of one and then just type in a prompt so if we were doing star wars i would just say something simple like this darth vader and i'm keeping this deliberately simple because i want to show you something else in a quick second here in fact let me show you to you right now the prompt is simple darth vader that said you'll see here that it says modify the input prompt for improved image generation results so this is basically saying hey you know what i've got a basic prompt but i want to see what the computer what the ai can come up with let's go this is purely optional for those of you that know exactly what you want you want darth vader in a pink bunny suit on tatooine doing a you know whatever go ahead and type exactly what you want in but i'm keeping this deliberately kind of vague to show you the power of modify prompt while well, i got you here also you'll see here that we can generate less processed but better quality images okay this takes a few seconds longer to generate but i find it always to be worth it let's keep going down here image prompt now this is where it gets interesting now if you have an image you can just drag and drop it in here and that will be used as the reference image in this case i don't have that but if you had one you could go ahead and do that also image prompt strength so how much weight do i want to give to the prompt versus how much weight do i want to kind of give you know the ai to go ahead and come up with something kind of fun and and quirky so you can go ahead and play with these buttons and these dials as you see fit here i'm gonna leave it at 50 because i like to sit in the middle because i'm canadian the seed if you've got a bunch of different seeds created and this is a little bit outside the scope of this but if you've got like a set of a seed then you want a whole bunch of different images and different ai generations using that particular seed you can go ahead and enter that number in here and then very importantly aspect ratio i'm going to go 69 that is standard widescreen but they've got all the aspect ratios here if you want a one-to-one -one, which is square etc it's all in there but let's go ahead with this i'm going to click on generate keep in mind again that we're using flux one pro ultra and we're going to go ahead and create not one but four images at a time i'm going to come back when this is done show you what we got then we're gonna kick it up. All right, welcome back. Let's keep going through the workflow here and look at these images. Holy smokes, that is Darth Vader if I've ever seen him. Look at the red lighting. I mean, look at this third one here. This is wild, guys. Fantastic stuff. So there we go, we've got our images. I like this one too because it's sort of facing the camera. So there we go. Now, the next step here, if I wanted to use it, I could just go ahead and click on that little download button and presto, we've got that image. Now that we've used this image and we've got it, I'm gonna show you the next step is we're gonna use that image in our AI video and that's going to be the first shot in our little upcoming AI Hollywood production. Let me show you how to do that. All right, let's keep it going. So you'll see here that earlier I was playing around and I was having some fun with the Death Star. Boom, and we've got a nice explosion here. But now we're gonna create the Darth Vader scene and it is incredibly easy to do. As always, let's start a new chat here. So I'm just gonna click on that button here. Bam, new chat. Now to create video, especially using that still image that we just created, which I downloaded, watch this. I'm just gonna click on this little more button here and then I'm gonna go to video gen. And in video gen, yes, you get access to not one, but four of the best AI video generation models on the market. Kling AI version 1.6, Hiluo AI, Luma Labs, uh, we've got Runway ML, Luma Labs Dream Machine. It's all in there, guys. It's absolutely crazy. For this one, I'm going to go with Kling AI version 1.6. Uh, just keep in mind that every week or two, they tend to update and one of them's going to release a new feature or two and they're always being updated in chat LLM team. So try them all out. Uh, it's a little bit of an arms race there in terms of who's going to win the battle. But here we go. I'm going with Kling AI for this one. We're going to select the mode here. You can go standard or pro. 
Pro basically just takes a little bit longer, but you get a little bit better result, and why not? Let's go all in here. Now, the next one, and this is the critical part, is start frame. This is basically the first frame in the video, and this is why we created that AI image a few seconds ago, because that is going to be the starting frame. So let's go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna go into my finder, and then I'm gonna go into my chat LLMs folder here, and then this is what it looks like here. This is just a screenshot of it. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and grab that, and I am going to drag and drop it right here. So that is scene one, shot one. <laughs> right there and then for the prompt i don't know let's just go nice and simple darth vader uh with a lightsaber now i'm having some fun here guys you guys are probably got a better better prompt in mind than that i'm keeping it nice and simple just to show you the techniques but again you can type in whatever you want here we go cfg scale consider this this is basically like temperature how much latitude do you want to give the ai versus how strict do you want it to adhere maybe to the prompt? So I'm gonna just leave it as is, guys, but again, you can adjust these as you see fit. Aspect ratio, 16.9, widescreen standard, that's the same style as the image. So there we go. And then finally, check down here, duration. This has up to 10 seconds at a time. Most AI video generators tend to stop you at five seconds or they make you pay a ton of money for a 10 second generation. Not these guys, they got you locked up. They got you sorted out here. Let's go with a 10 second here. And then last, but definitely not least, is modify the input prompt for improved video generation results. So this is optional. I'm going to turn it on because I like to see what the AI comes up with. Sometimes they come up with some cool stuff that I would have never thought about. So I'm gonna go with it. But again, you can adjust these. Basically, you can adjust these dials and prompts as you see fit. I'm gonna click on generate. It's gonna take a few seconds here because we're using the pro model and you know, we're going all in on this for a 10 second video. I'm gonna come back when this is done. We're gonna take a look at what we got and then I'm gonna show you the final step where I'm gonna show you how to do the AI audio voiceover. It's gonna blow your mind. Back in a second. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. Remember, we use Kling AI version 1.6, although there were four different models we could have chose from. And we use the screenshot or we use the image that we created earlier. Look at this. This is absolutely awesome. This is the first shot. Again, we made that. So here we go. Let's see what we got. All right. He's just sort of chilling out. He's got his, that's right, Darth. You're going to go do some choppy choppy. All right. So you can see there very clearly that this is fantastic stuff. Now, probably if I would have done the prompt a little better, I would have been like, you know, having a lightsaber, you know, battle with, you know, whoever, but that's just to show you how good this is right out of the box. This is absolutely wild. That said, we don't have any audio on this and I'm gonna show you now the audio side of things. This is a little bit of a hack. This is a bit of a shortcut, but it works and it's great. Let me show you that next. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to do that AI audio voiceover. Guys, you do it, we're doing all of this in chat LLM Teams. This is like usually three or four programs. We're using one program. This is wild. Remember that script we wrote at the beginning? Something like this here. Well, let's go ahead and do another one here and I'm gonna show you from the beginning like I did the other stuff here. So we've got a nice fresh open here. Click on new chat like I've done here. For this one, I'm gonna select Claude Sauna 3.5 because that's also pretty good at writing scripts. And I'm just gonna type in my prompt, write a short script about a YouTube video of a lone X-Wing pilot taking on the Death Star. Wild, it did it in a split second. So here's the shot, here's the narrator. In the vastness of space, one pilot made a choice that would change the galaxy forever. I love it. Here's the fun part though. This is a bit of a workaround, but it works and it works great. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit response. And when I do that, you'll see here that I can now take out the parts I don't want in this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of the exposition, so to speak. I'm even gonna delete the part that says narrator. I just want the text. So here we go. We've got in the vastness of space, one pilot made a choice. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take out all of this other stuff. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead um, in a galaxy far, far away. All right, you got to do what you got to do, guys. It's Star Wars. Now, when I hit save, we're going to go ahead and get automatically get an AI voiceover. We're going to listen to it. Then I'm going to show you how to change it to get the voice you want. 
Okay, so we clicked on save. Now I'm gonna click on this little sound icon. As soon as I click this icon, part of me, we're gonna get the voice and then I'm gonna show you how to change it so you can get some pretty cool uh, different styles here. So we're gonna click on that here. Just hover over, click on sound. In the vastness of space, one pilot made a choice that would change the galaxy forever. I like it. I would click on download and presto, I've got that. That is saved. How cool is that? But if you want to change the voice, look at this here. We can go further. You can select Eleven Labs or you can select Hume AI. Hume AI is known for their empathetic type of style of voices. It's got a lot of human emotion in it. I'm going to leave it on Eleven Labs, but it's available. And then finally, if I want to change it to maybe a female voice, just click on change and you can go through all their different voices like here. They got one named Charlotte. Let's listen to Charlotte. Charlotte. Hello. This is a sample of your selected voice. All right, Charlotte, I like it. She's Swedish, sounds good to me. And if I wanted to use that, I would just simply select it and save it. Guys, after all of that, in the vo there we go, I'm gonna close it all up. We've gone ahead and what did we do? We created a script, then we created some AI images that we can use for the video. We created the video from those images and then we took a AI voice. So we created the script part, put it into the AI voice here. We tried out a few different voices. And now if you go into a program like CapCut, that's free to download. You can see here, I've got one open here. You can just combine them in here, create yourself a video, edit it. It's absolutely amazing guys. Chat LLM Teams is the only tool you need to start making AI style Hollywood videos right on your computer, guys. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.